Hi Fox. So, um, a little bit of a different bit of today. We're going to look at servicing this Holmby Ringfield motor now. It's not going to be a massively in-depth um, review, um, tutorial, whatever you want to call it. Uh, there's already plenty of those out there, so we're just going to do brief stage overviews. As you can see, the first stage has been complete. We've got the motor out. We've got the springs and the bushes over there, which all need clearing and cleaning. The reason for the strip down is twofold. One, to clean that commutage, which is absolutely filthy. And there's also a short circuit somewhere. It's not in the wiring going to the motor. So it, it must be in the motor. Because the bogies are all fine. It's this old type one. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. So we've used a fiberglass pen. Um, as you can see now, that commutator is nice and clean. Cleaned out all the fluff and detritus. And... There's a few bits and pieces. We've also cleaned the ring magnet as well. Clean the wheels, all the good stuff. Let's get it back together and see what happens. All right then, boys and girls. So we've missed a few steps, but we've got there in the end. <coughs> so we've figured out what was wrong with the loco. It was short circuiting, and you can just see in there vaguely. Where that little connection is, there's normally a little pin which I will put a circle on now, which takes power from this side of the motor to this side of the motor and therefore giving it power for regular DC. Now, with DCC, obviously, you've got a wire going straight to that as well as back there, creating a short. So, I've had to bend this little pin out just a little bit. And that's sort of the short circuit out. Wiring is a bit messy at the minute, but you know, we do what we need to do, don't we? We've got the decoder in there now. The lights are working front and back. I've got the programmed in. Pretty straightforward, really. You've got one power feed to each LED from the blue auxiliary wire, and then the yellow wire goes to the second wire over there. For the front and then the white wire goes the second wire over there for the uh, rear so all we're doing now is adding a bit of weight to this old chassis just to give it the best adhesion because you've only got left pickup there right pickup there so of course undulating track can cause it to lift them we've got a small stay alive in there which uh, will need upgrading to a, a full fat one eventually we're going to get a nice sugar cube speaker in there and a class 47 TTS sound chip uh, which I think will really finish this local off nicely right then, let's crack on Okay, and well, there we have it then. After a lot of cleaning and faffing and waiting, I mean literal waiting of the locomotive, we've got something which resembles stable running. For the time being though, we're just going to have to, uh, it will need throw the script down and a bit more cleaning and a bit more detail and what have you but for the time being it seems to be running fairly well for what it is it won't crawl yet but again I've not cleaned the bogies I've not cleaned the bogey contacts I've just cleaned the commutator at the minute need the grease as well which I've not done I greased the, um, the pinion gear while I was in there, but I need to uh, file off all the little writing on the gears to be able to quiet it down. But yeah, it's uh, actually, you can see now as well the, uh, the direction lights work. I've wired those into the decoder successfully, I might add, so that was uh, pretty good. Okay then. 
keep watching the skies, I'll keep watching the rails in this case folks and we'll uh, keep you updated. Cheers for watching, I'll see you all very very soon and I'd like to thank every single one of you for subscribing, we are now over 200 subscribers so that's real good. So thanks for everything folks and I will see you all shortly. Here you go Paul, finally managed to get some sort of a crawl out of her. There we go, not bad at all eh? Not bad at all. That's it for now.